Good evening, YouTube. General Soul bringing you MLB The Show 23, Road to the Show, our Cubs starting pitcher. And we completely destroyed our division rivals, the team who won the NL Central in the wild card. We beat the Cardinals in two games. And we are now against the Atlanta Braves. Fuck the Braves. I said it before, I'll say it again. If you're a fan of the Braves, get your head checked out. There's something wrong with you. Alright, so we will not be playing the first game because we pitched for three days ago. So this is Marcus Stroman. We will be pitching game two against Max Fried, it looks like. And their guy hasn't even pitched yet. But I have a feeling... Uh, this way. Yeah. Atlanta did not play while we were in the wild card. So this is Atlanta's first game of the playoffs. They've had about a week off almost. Oh, we're at the Cubs. That's right. Okay, first game. Woo! We won again. And uh, if I have anything to say about it, we're going up. Two nothing. What's up? All right. So let's get started. We did on the schedule. They did come up uh, twice, I believe, once or twice. But it was never my turn to pitch when they came up. So I have. This will again be my first time against the Braves. And yeah, I I will admit they are a pretty stacked team, but still, fuck the Braves. All right, let's get started. Max Fried, you're going down. Yeah, it's like every game we're the underdog. <laughs> Baseball fans and welcome. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Chicago Cubs going up against the Atlanta Braves. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. Yeah, this might be the game to actually decide the series, Boog. When it's five games, getting a 2-0 lead is a dominant position to be in. And I don't see this series getting to a fifth game if we have a repeat of game one's outcome in this one. Yeah, the Crows start circling for a team that falls into a two-game deficit. Not where you want to be. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. And on the mound today, Max Free. What do we need to know here? We know he's one of the best in the game. Doesn't make many mistakes. Yes, I know and you're happy that you got treat. He'll make up a pitch and throw something that you've never seen before. Bottom of the first. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense, and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. And there's the strike. Got no one. Here comes a pitch. And there's the strike. 0 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Next one misses. Oh. And that's ball so one. We, I know you love me because I gave you treats, but stop it. Oh, you want under your blanket? There you go. We'll get under there. Okay, you want under here? Which one are you on? Get under your blanket. Hold up. She's being picky. Ugh. You want under the blanket, but then you don't want under the blanket. All right, let's see if we'll get him to chase a slider away. The wind of the pitch. And it's oh. even up. It's Ooh, that was close. Oh. 
in the air left side. That's an out. And it hops over the wall for an automatic double. The automatic <laughs> double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, dude. You don't need to keep the That's pedal down. That's bullshit. Who's in the second base? Just no worries. Oh. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Over his glove. Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves. In there, and it's on one. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in no. scoring position. They've got We're not allowing it. Here to get him in. Not allowing it. Hey, clutch up for us. Get a strike out. Go on, Port. Strike two. Well, he chased. Unfortunately, he tapped it. Okay. No one out now. And the righty deals. Just oh, missed. Not going to really chase now, chase huh? With two strikes. Would you stop fouling shit off and strike out? Kicks and deals. Goes down looking. I'll take that. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. <laughs> well, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on cat. you to protect yourself with two strikes. Ball, one second. Here's Austin Riley. He's a good high school football player, Austin Riley, but you look at the build, you think quarterback, think maybe even linebacker. No, he's a punter. Alright, um... First offering misses the mark. Gotta get my timing. Cat went completely underneath her blanket she sleeps on and is like, just got her eye looking out like, I'm Big Bad Hunter. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, <coughs> tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a miss. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, I didn't even see what he called for. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. Wow, Ronald, you have no balls? I can see why that's a strike against you. Harris on its second with two down. Next pitch misses, and the count is one I lost my grip. And strike two. One, two. Let's bring that just a little bit off the plate. Next Ball. offering misses. Two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high. Well, that's a strike. Y'all thought you were going to score. Y'all thought you were going to score. We played an inning. No score. That lucky bullshit double ain't gonna help fucking help you. Back at Truist Park, bottom of the second. Here's the veteran first baseman, Matt Olson. Woodson, back to work. And that one just misses. A Gotta get my timing down sucks. again. Two Gold Glove winners last year. And we got some Gold Glove winners this year, too. And that's 
in for a strike. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see oh, yeah. some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. One Swing ball. and a miss. One and two. Let's bring that down a little bit. And now two Not that little bit. What are you doing? Sorry, I've got a cat distracting me. No, I don't want to. We're going to do a slider, backdoor slider. The pitch. Oh. He goes down looking. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball and step out of the box. Agitate him a little bit. Do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Marcelo Zuna in the box now. No balls and a strike. Second inning here. No score. Strike two. Everything was good except for the release. Okay, you want it low and in. Let's see if he'll chase. Just misses with okay. that one. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. That misses. Ooh. Now two and two. All right. All right. We'll bring it closer in. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow depth. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. That's in there. That's strike one. Yeah, but kind of hard to believe, but Ozzy Albies, first second baseman in Braves history to win a silver slugger. And he's won multiple silver sluggers now. And he's on my Diamond Dynasty team because I don't have anyone better. And that's in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Yeah, he did it. No, he did. He did. He did. And no swing, says Jerry Hillsdale. All right, we'll backdoor him. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So they make short work of him there. We head on now to the top of the third. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's a short stop. Orlando Three nothing Cubbies. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, oh, that's what I'm trying for. Inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Not what he's looking for there in the OO count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Okay, I can do that. The 0 1. Here. And a foul ball. Here we go, guys. Let's go. The 0 2. Oh. Struck him out looking. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very That's dangerous enough. to these hitters. Seven the punch outs already. Go so on. this lineup hasn't had much success. Perfect. Trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Here's Sean Murphy. Murphy getting ninth in today's oh, lineup. Shit. And he's a former gold glover in the American League. Oh, he likes the low ball. Fuck you. One down, one down. Pitch is in there. Are and you sure? One and one. Because that's slot. No, it's 0 oh and 2. This motherfucker's a brave fan. One down, base is empty. 
So now one Let's and two. Do. Working on it. And downstairs. Oh. No. Doing a slider away. Two two now. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be All right, here's the son of a bitch who got the lucky hit. Now we're getting you out. Harris batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Next pitch is downstairs. Okay. Yeah, the right hater deals. Yep, you chased that one. Struck him out. You lucky that bullshit one gonna Nothing happen again. Here this half. We head to the fourth inning now in game two. It's the Cubs three and the Braves nothing. And welcome back. Bottom four. So here's the Braves designated hitter, Vaughn Grissom. And a pitch. That one oh, missed. No. Bull you know, shit! Just haven't produced Don't as many say that this umpire likes the ball low this whenever he's not going to call obvious strikes. Baseball today, but even by oh. those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. Righty to the plate. And that is cut on and missed. And that is strike two. Should have been strike three. As well as outside, Again. Effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. Yeah, well, a chase, but he tapped it. Let's see if he'll chase this out of the zone. Another one, two. Swing or if I can fuck and up the release and he goes in the zone out. and he misses and anyway. The first out. Now at 10 Ks with now still a few it. innings left, Perfect. so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. And there's a hit. So I should have gone higher up. One out single. I was trying to stay away from his hot zone for some reason. I'm like, he's he probably going to hit this. That one. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Struck out swinging his first time. That's a swing. Tries Fuck to you! To first, you guys just do not want to call any strikes on the Braves. Righty delivers, and a foul ball. So, Boog, you're the fashion police. What do you got on Ronald Acuna and the way that he accessorizes the uni? Oh, He's an see, idiot. I dig it. The Braves' base color is red and blue, but he adds the yellow. It kind of represents the Venezuelan flag, the country that he hails from. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. One and two now on Acuna. Got Sit him down. looking. That's a strikeout. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can oh, see, the hitter right. just locked up a little oh, bit. Perfect. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, yeah. but sometimes you're looking for something oh, else good. and you can't pull the trigger. Yeah. 
Olsen in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. On the ground, right side. Now I don't care. Over to Swanson, and the <laughs> inning is over. So one hit is all they get. We played four. It's the Cubs three, you guys and the Braves thought. nothing. Welcome back. Now the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. The left fielder. Okay. Zuna. Woodson back to work. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Braves need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. 1-1 one, one down. This one high mm, in the air left center. Out. Ball, ball, ball. Makes the catch. And a quick out number one. I gotta get my timing back now that I'm not the stretch. Ozzy Albies up to the plate. His first at bat was a strikeout. Singy, this guy, Ozzy Albies, he is Mr. Personality. So much flair and that giant smile on the field. That's in there. That's strike one. For me, one of the things I really enjoy is just the banter that he has with third base coach Ron Washington, who's helped him tremendously defensively at second base. Next offering is in for a strike. Quit booing your guy. You've got one out right here. The 0-2. Oh, maybe I should have just thrown it in the zone. And he Got chases him. that one. Two away. Well, that's exactly what a good two strike splitter will do. Oh, Duck right under the bat path and that last 15 to 20 Four feet or so. Go. And at that point, it's just too late to do anything about it as a hitter. Really nice pitch. Here's Orlando Arcia. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. I think that's how he went down in three pitches. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. He's controlling Go things ball. out there on the mound, right. not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Flips the corner. Ooh, no balls, okay. two strikes. Now this offense has I'll just take been it. locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Here's the 0-2. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through five. It's the Cubs three and the Braves nothing. Bottom of the inning. So here's Murphy now. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. There's oh. a strike. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base no. hits, some slugs, some strike. runs can come into play. Here's a 1 1. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boone. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Harris, batting with one down, takes a strike. Now we're getting some changeup calls. That's the third, and it goes just foul. Good, because I thought that was fair. Up 
up the middle. Over to first. Two up, two down. Good two-seam action right there. Running away from the batter. Pulled over it. Got the ground out. Vaughn Grissom next up for the Braves. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Uh -oh. In the air, left field. Hat moving under it. Okay, we got him. I got it. I got He's it. got it, and that'll end the inning. All right. Yeah, the Braves go down quietly. They trail in this one, three nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging too. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into he the count as well. He's very aggressive, so let's go off the plate a little bit. And a miss struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Damn, you still have no balls? Well, you want it backdoored. The pitch. There's a strike. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Oh, and two now. And that no, just ball. misses. That might right have been strike right three spot. if I had they actually really thrown it in the zone. And this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. The wind of the pitch. Hmm. Really nice this. slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. I was trying to get him to chase. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Olsen in the box again, takes a strike. I don't know what the record is for strikeouts in the playoffs, but World Series, we are coming up on tying. And now it's even up. Bob Gibson threw 17 strikeouts in game one of the 1968 World Series. And we need one more to tie that in just a playoff game. There's a swing and a miss. Keeping me from that, huh? I wonder what is the record for playoff game. You want that inside? He is chasing. Unfortunately, he's tapping. And now I didn't want to chase even. that, huh? Softly to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Let me look up that. Braves go down quickly here. They trail it here, 3 nothing.
ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, Marcelo Zuna. The Braves in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the late off. It's man. Bob Gibson 17 for all playoffs. I didn't see what he called, so we're gonna actually start this guy off with a splitter. Woodson back to work. And first offering is fouled off. So yeah, if I get one more strikeout, I do tie the record for playoffs, World Series included. And there's a foul ball. The O2. Got him. Tied Bob Gibson. That was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then If I can strike out one more person, I now have the playoff record. Albies stands in now and watches strike one. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Just one pitch short of 100 now, and I'm guessing this is likely his final inning if he can get through it. Probably. Okay, chopped it foul. And he deals. And that one missing. Didn't want to chase that one, huh? It's like, you sure he has balls? Because he seems to be a little pussy right there. Ah. Stop tapping it. Strike out. Give me the record. Stop tapping it. Got him looking for the K. New record. Well, tough night that is dish. not tracked. Now for the third time right there. He just hasn't well, looked very well, comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing well. right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Two outs, base is empty. And next for Atlanta, Orlando Arcia. And a strike. Can I get 19? Do I hear 19 in the playoffs? Two outs. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Mm. Good, because I fucked that up. <laughs> Stop tapping. Just strike out. Come on. Be a pal. And the pitch. Foul ball still low and two. Damn. I didn't think he'd be able to hit that. And a swing and a miss. Sit down, son. And it's a three up, three down. 19 so strikeouts in one there. playoff game. game. Two heads to the ninth inning. It's the Cubs three and the Braves nothing. New pitcher coming on. Think, the all right. Brad Boxberger. Well, he's Get you saved. To turn to out of the pin to lock right. down wins. So <laughs> this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. <laughs> well, these guys are riding pretty high. One right more now, game. You can tell the home team pretty confused as to why they're not getting it done but it's a because huge of the Braves when you can take the first two games of the series especially on the road now we'll see if they can back it up and fuck the Braves now 
not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boog, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. The shutout in this one, 3-0, our final score. The Cubs go home a winner for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long. All right, so we went eight innings, gave up two hits, struck out 19, which is now a playoff record. No walks, no earned runs. Pretty good game. I mean, it could have been better. Could have been a no-hitter. Could have had 21 strikeouts again. <laughs> but I'll take it. All right. Let's see if we are playing the Braves anymore or if that is the series. We swept the Braves in three. We will now be either taking on the Dodgers or the Padres for the right to go to the World Series. So let's go ahead and see who we're facing. We are facing the Dodgers. Hello, it is go time. He's about to start in his first game seven. Ron Darling, you did it in the NLCS and the World Series both. Are you able, I'm so curious, are you able to enjoy it or are you too nervous? Well, you certainly enjoy it. I mean, that's the reason you become a major league uh, athlete at some point is that you want to have a chance uh, to be in the biggest stage. Now, of course, Watch out what you wish for. It's wrought with all these perils and twists and turns, and, and you've got to be able to handle that. The one, uh, I think, constant theme I remember from the Game 7s I pitched is that they come at you fast, the game really quickens, um, seems like the players are uh, sprinting to the plate uh, to face you, when that certainly is not the case. It's just how it feels. So my recommendation for anyone that's pitching a game seven is just try to slow it down, try to relax, try to find that inner meditative self if you can. That'll make it much easier. Mm, I like that. Take a moment, right? This is what you play for. You're out. All right, so we are among the league leaders in many stats. And in the playoffs, we won our team 1.1 games because we were in it. I like how Justin Berlander has no ERAs, but the bets are out of the playoffs. <clears throat> All right. So next time we play, we are play pitching game one versus the Dodgers in the National League Championship Series. That is a best of seven. First team to win four goes to the World Series. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Feel free to subscribe for more. You can follow me on Twitch where I do stream MLB, the show, and other games. I'll see you guys next time.